everybody, Audio Keller back again with another Amp Dino video of a classic amplifier from Rockford Fastgate and this time I'm really happy to present a legendary amplifier. It's the Punch 500M from the Power Series and this is a mono amplifier and now I'm happy to make a Dino video with several tests. I will start with 1 kHz continuous output power at 4 ohms mono. As I said, first test is 4 ohms mono with 1 kHz. I start to give signal input. So this is the maximum I can get out of the amp. Catch this one. Stop signal input. 357 or 356 watts of continuous output power into a 4 ohm mono load. Here is a clamp meter and now I give full signal at 4 ohms. And the amplifier is pulling 37.3 amps. That's an efficiency mono 4 ohms of almost 70%. I got 69.86%. And now I'm testing dynamic power, 1 kHz, 20 cycles. And I always try to get all cycles at the same level. We have this here in this case. And we have no signs of clipping. Everything is alright. And I have a maximum voltage of 56.8 volts. And in this case, mono 4 ohms, dynamically I have around 413 watts. The dynamic value is the uh, value of power you can read in your punch verification certificate that's dynamically and now i try to test with eight cycles and you will see a small increase in output power when i'm testing with just eight cycles a lot of pro audio manufacturers are testing in this way and even with just one cycle and put that value in their data sheets i am playing the same game right now so i have uh, eight cycles all the same level and I have a maximum voltage of 60 volts and free of clipping and with a maximum voltage of 60 volts I have an output power of around 460 watts that's 461 watts now I'm playing with just one cycle absolutely peak power just for testing and you can see we cannot take this value because we have clip here and clip there so I reduce the gain a little bit and try to catch another one. We can call this a clean cycle. So we have 62.4 volts. And with 62.4 volts we have almost 500 watts mono forms. We have 499 watts. And now I do again the continuous power test, but this time 2 ohms mono. I start signal input. Clipping, I go back. That's nice. Stop signal input. And I have a maximum voltage of 48, sorry, for, uh, 47.2 volts. And with a maximum output voltage of 47.2 volts, I have an output power of 557 watts of continuous output power, mono 2 ohms. And now I check what the amplifier is pulling out of my power supply. 64.8 amps. Then we have an efficiency of around 62%. Dynamic power test, mono 2 ohms. I catch one. And you can see all are the same level and absolutely free of clipping. We have a maximum voltage of 52 volts. And with 52 volts, I have an output power dynamically 20 cycles of 676 watts. And it's almost unbelievable. Maybe I made a mistake, but if I take the dynamic power of the amplifier for efficiency calculation, I got an efficiency of over 70%, 76%. Another dynamic power test with eight cycles should result in a higher output power value. So we have here 55.2 volts and I check out all free of clipping, all cycles same level. With eight cycles driven into the amplifier, which is simulating a minimum frequency of around 125 Hz, 
uh, we have an output power of 760.5 watts. Let's play the game with just one cycle at 2 ohms mono. And playing with just one cycle to check out the maximum peak power for just one millisecond of the amplifier. And with 60 volts we have ridiculous 900 watts into a 2 ohm load mono. Now I have the dynamic power test mono 1 ohm and I guess with 20 cycles the protection circuit will kick in. So I give signal. Catch one. So I can't maintain 20 cycles at the same level. You see this here, the first cycles are clean, no clipping. So we have 52.6 volts. And here we have 52.8 volts, the highest value, and it goes down. So that means the first cycle, the output power is around 1369 watts. And at the end it goes down. Now testing with eight cycles. With just eight cycles, mono one ohm. And now we see we have all cycles at the same level and no clipping everything is all right and we have a maximum voltage of 49.6 volts it puts out 1225 watts and if you're interested what the amplifier is putting out with just one cycle that means for one millisecond i catch this cycle here and we have you can see it maximum voltage of 56 volts with 56 volts, the amplifier is able to put out 1568 watts, but only for one millisecond. That's tested with just one cycle of one kilohertz. This is absolutely peak power. If you like this video you can make me happy by leaving a thumb, better subscribe to my channel. I will continue doing dyno videos of classic amplifiers and I hope you enjoy this. And see you next time for the next dyno video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.